Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. And in this one, we get to take a look at the Axel Trade testnet, which is a DEX building on Cardano. Some of you will remember Yarek was on the channel here about a year ago at this point to talk about what they were building with programmable swaps and why Cardano was the perfect choice for them with the EUTXO model to build this order book DEX. It's not just an order book deck. So when you start to go through it and what you'll see here, I'll show you some of the features on it today. I'll show you how to get started on it with your wallet and where to get that funded if you want to dive in. But this is definitely going to take a few videos because there are so many complex features that can be done on this. Once you dive deeper into it, it really is going to bring a whole new level of trading to Cardano. And I think will bring a lot of new people into the Cardano space. If you get value, please do share it out. Give the video a like common questions and if you're new make sure and subscribe for all of the future videos that are going to be around this let's jump into it okay so this is the announcement we got yesterday the blog post which i'll leave down below it's the introduction that the test net has now gone live and we're going to dive straight into it now in a minute so when you go in you will have your basic view i'm not going to spend too long on these because i'm actually going to show it to you working and show you some of the trades that i've done on that you come down in and you have this far more complex view but really when you look at it first, it might seem very complex and you don't know where to look. But once you start to get deeper into trading and you see all of the intricate little features that you have here, this is a huge leap forward for trading. You see then they have the explanation about what's what you have your trading. Actually, I'll, I'll show you that when we bring it on to the, the live one. Then you have your composer. So it's not just simple trading where you have your limit orders, your market orders, or even your DCA or anything like that, you can create your own strategy. So for those that have certain types of strategies, trading strategies that they've used on centralized exchanges, or maybe even outside of crypto on Forex and stocks, then you can build them out here on AXO under the composer. And there's also the algorithms section where you have some common trading strategies and then some not so common, which them types of ones I'm probably going to have to dive into in other videos. Some I know from previously using these types of strategies and some I'm going to have to do my research on to try and understand so I can hopefully break some of them down for you as well. So look, let's just jump straight into it and look at it firsthand. So this is what the actual platform looks like. And when you come on first, there's a lot going on here. But once you start to understand what each of the sections are, it becomes very, very useful. Now, if you want to start with up here, you have the pro section up here. So you can turn this off to go into the normal view, which it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to understand what you're doing here if you're used to just doing trades with your market or limit orders on other DEXs. So this is a good place to start. And once you start to understand it and want to go a bit deeper, then you can just turn this on and you start to see similar to what you would have on your centralized exchanges. You have your order book, so all your sells up on top, all your buys. Then you have your different orders down here. You can see these are some of the orders that I've already placed on, on it yesterday when I was testing it out. Strategies, I have one strategy running at the minute and I think that's well in profit. Now these are all test numbers, so it doesn't really matter, but you can go in here and you can look into the strategies. We'll look at that one now in a few minutes. Then different trades that I have done yesterday and I think some earlier today too. So you can see a few so far and then you have the market trades over here. So if you compare that to something like Binance, so you have your order book, you have your sells, your buys, charts then you have all your different types of trading here which is on the left over here for axo trade and we'll dive into the different types now in a minute and then you have up here to select your pairs and then you have the current market trades what's happening on the markets right now so that's the overview of this i suppose more complex side let's go to for if you want to get started on this, how do you actually get in and start using this yourselves? Because you don't have to use real aid on this just yet. We haven't got a date on mainnet, hopefully in the not too distant future. And I'd also love to sit down with Yarek to have a chat about this and see, get his thoughts on this from, I'm sure it's been a long journey for him to get to this point, but they really have put out an incredible platform here for the community. So within this document here, there is another one as well that tells you how to get started on the testnet. But if you have an eternal wallet or a NAMI wallet, 
you can see at the minute this the colors here are slightly different than if you're using eternal normally and where you change that is down the bottom right here there is pre-prod so you can click on that you get the pop-up so i'm currently on the pre-production test set that's the one you want for the axle test set and then you have mainnet normally so normally you're going to be on mainnet but we're going to change into the pre-prod test net i'm already on it so if you don't have a wallet here just like anything else on eternal you can create a new wallet here and actually i did have this test wallet before and when i was trying out the test net i was getting some errors because i've used that wallet a lot so there's a lot of utxos and different things in it so i created a new clean wallet for the test net and since doing that things have been flying so once you create your new wallet go in and get your receive address because you're going to need some ada for getting started on this then you go to the faucet so this is on the cardano.org website i'll put all these links down below come down here and actually i can do it if i go to receive i copy an address out of there go to the faucet make sure you're on the pre-prod test net i want to receive test data put in the address and then i'm not a robot and request funds so then success they have initiated the transaction there you can see the hash of the transaction so in the next minute i should receive more test data you can see these are all the other transactions and just something to note when we're here you can see these ones here where i have plus one axos and you can see it here and you can see it within this one as well these are all it's part of the trade so when i submit trades i'm getting this token back into my wallet and that signifies what i own in the trade but probably in later videos i'll dive deeper into the meaning of that because some of it i understand and some i need to do a bit more testing to make sure i have a full understanding of it too and you can see the test data has come in there already the 10,000 test data would be nice if you could get real data that easy once you have your wallet set up then click on the connect button there if you're using nami let me see nami up here then click on the little robot head go into settings and network and this is where you will change it on nami from mainnet down to pre-prod now on to take a look at the actual software so my wallet's already connected up here you can see it's connected here let's just make sure i'll disconnect it first and reconnect to make sure agree to the terms connect eternal when you connect first you will get a thing where you have to sign it just to sign that to verify that that is your wallet it's not an on-chain signature it's just a sign to show that the wallet is yours up here then the faucet what you can do is you can mint any of these different tokens to test so that allows you to go in you can go in and buy the tokens or you can come in and mint them here if you want to get extra tokens just click on the one you want to mint so axo i've actually already minted axo let's see book so i can mint book then it's going to ask me for a password and let's see do i remember yep so there's what they're going to do now is they will send me 2000 book tokens to test so what we do then is let's turn this off just to look at the basic trading platform first so when you come in you have and let's even turn off the chart so this little button here turns off the chart and then we have straightforward easier to understand for your trades so you come in here for your limit order this is where you set the price that you want the trade to execute at a market order is where you want it executed at the best available price right now on the markets sometimes you'll have or not sometimes always you will have some slippage on that where you're not going to get the exact current market price because once you start buying into it then you're going to be selling into or buying into the opposite side of the order book but if you come in and you want to put in your limit order so let's say 150 ADA I want to put them in at 2 ADA per axle token that would mean that if this got executed then I would get back 75 axle and you see something here called credits so to keep it simple they're basically the fees but you're not going to spend all of that in fees it's something that is sent along with the transaction if you click on this here and say show credits breakdown you can see there's the cardano fees which is the network fees then you have the axo fees and then you have the estimated total fees which is both of them but this number here is a lot less than the credits that you're actually sending with the trade 
you're sending extra in case that this gets executed in multiple orders or i'm not sure if some other impacts will come in depending on the type of order you're doing sometimes if it's a strategy it could consist of multiple different orders to be executed so that's why you will need extra credits but with this type of trade i would expect to get the majority of this back so this is in around what the cost i would expect it to be and then i should get back what nine point something ada out of the credits as well as getting back the axle now the current price i think does it show it here so it shows the summary down here what i paid the slippage but i think the current price is a lot higher than two ada so this probably wouldn't uh, get executed for a while you get the summary here of what's going on let's say convert and once again I need my password. There we go. So order has been placed. Find it in your orders. And we'll go into orders now in a minute. But the other one then is market orders. So if I wanted to buy AXO at the current market price, then you can see that when I put in what I want to pay, this is roughly what I should get back. Now let me change this to 500. You can see that this is the expected price that I would get back. Generally with these types of things though, you do need to set slippage and that's where you set it up here. Currently it's at 0.1. I'm going to change it to one, but you can change that to anything you want. This is something you won't have seen on some other DEXs too. If you heard the interview I had with Lars on Genius Yield last week or the week before, we talked about this because they're going to have it too, where you can set the expiry on your trade. So GTC is good till cancelled. So that means that there's no expiry on your trade. You want it to happen, whether it happens right now or happens in 100 days, just let it happen. But you can put an expiry on it because if you know there's some event happening for that ecosystem or that token or whatever it is within seven days, then you don't want it to happen after seven days. Then you could say that if, it's, if this trade can go through in the next seven days, then let the trade go through. But if it goes past seven days, this trade will not be executed even if the price in the market matches your order. So let's do a swap on this, convert. And then this one would be going in as a market order and submit. So again, we should see the pop-up up here telling me it has been submitted. And there's one other one then here, DCA. Definitely people listening to the channel will have heard me talk about DCA a lot down through the years. What this is, is dollar cost average. So this means that I don't want to buy everything today at the current price. So generally what the ones here are frequency based on time. What I talk about generally is based on if you have, say you have 1000 ADA, you want to buy into AXO. So you would buy in a certain amount at the current level, then you would set your other orders lower down in the order book. So it means that if the price drops, then you get an averaged price. What other people do is they would set so 1000 ADA, they want to get Axel, they want to do it daily. So let's do it from the start date from today until the end of the month. So every day they're going to buy in using that 1000 and a bit of it will be spent every day. Do I see? So yet down here, you can see 90 ADA per day would be put into orders and it will buy no matter what the price of Axel is. So we'll look at pro just have a look at some of the other trades and then we'll get into the orders and this video is already going really long when you come in here you have the same idea as we were doing there on the simple side but here you have a lot more information so you can change the token that you want to trade up here we're going to leave it as it was so you come in you put in the amount this one's actually set on dca at the minute so over here you have your limit order your market order which we've talked about you have dca but if you do it from here you actually have more frequency so you can do it in minutes hours seconds whatever you want where when we done it on the non-pro interface you had a few less options and there's some other trade types here market with slippage you have your protected market mid market limit box top box top with slippage stop loss limit so nice to have these types of orders too some of these ones up here i'm gonna to have to look into exactly what they do but they're the types of ones i can dive into in other videos and that's it you have your buy or your sell which is basically flipping the token around from going from ada to axel or from axel to ada let's look at 
the trade. So if I come in here or not in here, markets actually is what you would have when you come in first to a centralized exchange. Generally, you have this nice overview, the gainers, the volume, new listings, and then what's going on with the different tokens for the day. If we look at strategies then, which I'm only going to briefly touch on here, this definitely needs to be another video. So we'll go into all strategies just to get an overview. And what you see here is you can create a strategy or you can look at all of these, the most popular ones. So let's click into one at random. So I can see this is a strategy that's running right now. I could also come in and if I look at this and say, I'm happy with the history or how this trade, how this strategy has been running, I can come in and actually copy on it. Me, I could come in and create a strategy and people could come in and watch that strategy. If they see that it's profit profitable, they can come in then and copy that strategy. So you're not actually sending the funds to someone else to trade for you. But what's happening is the platform would be copying that person's trade. So when they make a trade, then the trades are also made on your account, but you're not giving them your funds. So there really is a lot of different strategies here. If I go back, I think I have one running. So you can see this is a strategy that I have running on this test account. And if I look at, this is the strategy here. You can see I called it test one and the 24 hour change is plus 0.21%, the profit and loss, 0.21%, not bad. And then it shows you the credits that have been used, which is basically the fees spot. You can see some of the orders that have happened here. And if I look at market making, do I have, I think it's, yeah. So you can see a lot more orders being made here. And this one was this strategy that I set up as far as I remember was, I wanted this to keep trading within a 2% range of the current market price. So anytime it went outside of that 2%, I either bought or sold based on what way the market was moving. They're definitely the types of things we can jump into a lot more. The algorithms then is where you can create your own algorithm. The composer is the drag and drop, the like Marlowe's for smart contracts. You have the composer that they have here to bring in your assets. So whatever you want your wallet out to different types of assets, different strategies, definitely going to have a lot of learning in that one and hopefully be able to, as I learn, share some of that with you guys. And if I come back just to the strategies or actually back to trades, and in here, then you can see the different trades that have gone through on my account so far. Some of them are ones that I manually placed. Some of them then are ones that would have went through due to the strategy. So you can see one of them there was AXO ADA pair that we put in and you can see sent out and got back in the AXO token. So that was the market order. But if I look at orders, then these are the current open orders. So what I can see is I have different orders open on IAG, ADA, AXO, ADA, and then there are these ones here are limits. And then this one is a DCA trade. So you can see I set this one up, I think yesterday. Yeah, you can see last night I set that one up. So that DCA is in like what I showed earlier in this video. That's a lot of talking, going through a lot of things there. The overview, nice overview of your wallet. These are all the test tokens that I have. Hopefully this has given you a good insight into what the test net has to offer for Axo Trade. I definitely encourage you to jump in, have a play around with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the strategy videos and different order types while it's on test net or wait till it's on mainnet. I'll be able to show you real live data of how it's working in the markets. Maybe do both, a few on test net, a few on mainnet, but let me know your own thoughts below. What do you think of it so far? To me, definitely has lived up to the hype on what I have seen so far and really, really impressed and look forward to this bringing a lot more people into Cardano for trading. We definitely need more stable coins because when you get a lot more volume or a lot more depth in the order books with stable coins, then it really opens up a lot of these strategies that can be automated with what's going on here. Thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate it and I will talk to you soon.